Hey y'all. So today I'm going to be going ahead and showing y'all how I got my knots on my wig to go to a 316. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. So I tried this powder that I got from Sally's. I went to Sally's. Um, what did I get? Oh, I went to Sally's to get Blonde Brilliance. Okay, and that's another product I'm going to be using in my tutorial. So I went to Sally's to get that and come to find out the clerk, she was like, oh, did you not try this before? I'm like, oh, what's that? Is that like the powder? She showed me this powder. It is magical. Compared, well, not compared, but paired with Blonde Brilliance, it's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how to do this right now. Okay, so this is the powder I'm talking about. So the first step is actually prepping the wig. I'm going to just show you guys what all I used. That was a 40 developer and that's the smaller pack um, of the version that I just showed you. And the Blonde Brilliance. Okay, make sure you have that on deck because that is definitely a big role and how to get your knots to go to a 613, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open the pack up and I have my little mix bowl right there with um, with a little brush um, used for dyeing bleaching hair or whatever, coloring hair. So when I pour um, all of that, well, I believe I used all of it. I'm not really sure. Um, Matter of fact, I think I poured all of it in there because I was also customizing two other ways. So I just poured the developer in there and you want to get kind of a thick consistency, but not too thick, um, but not too runny either. So I poured um, a little bit in a couple times. And as I said before, I'm not editing anything out. So everything you will see how I did it. So right there, that's a little too thick for me. So I'm gonna add just a little bit in. Um, actually, after this, I'm gonna add a little bit more. So I would suggest that you pour a lot more in there if your, um, your batter looks like mine. Okay, so I'm just gonna whip it up and get to that right consistency. Okay, so now that I have my consistency just right, it's falling off of the brush. That's how I know that it's good to go. So what I do is I flip my unit inside out so that it's easy for me to grip the front of the lace and you know what I mean? Get it nice and straight so that everything is smooth. It's not getting in the crevices of the lace, you know what I mean? or missing pieces that are in the crevice of the lace. That's really the big problem. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that with um, the, the bleach. Make sure that you're looking sometimes to make sure that you're getting all of the pieces and not leaving any black dots at all. You don't wanna leave any at all. So make sure that you cover all of that, you know what I mean, by lifting up the lace sometimes to check. Thank you. 
Okay, and then I flipped my unit um, back the right way um, so that everything can process. And usually I don't wet the whole wig and that's the purpose of me flipping it out again so that I don't have to wet the whole lace. I just get my sprayer on my sink and I spray all of the excess um, bleach out and I leave the tracks part like hanging over the seat. So it's not the seat. Oh my God. Hanging over the sink so it's not exposed to the water. But however, since this is a curly unit um, and I wanted the curls to pop for um, videos and pictures, I wet the whole thing with no remorse. Okay. So um, yeah, I did three other wigs or I think two other wigs. I'm not sure um, which one, but I did some more wigs and um, basically that's why it's kind of cut out. You know what I mean? You guys don't really see everything. But yeah, this is like the result that I'm getting without the blonde brilliance. Like, look at that. That's like a 27 already. The blonde brilliance is about to take it to a 613. Okay. I'm not even feeling a lot of y'all. It's about to take it to 613. Okay, so I wet the wig so that it's easier for me to spread the um the blonde brilliance and get that purple shampoo in there. Um, you're not supposed to rinse it until about five or ten minutes after um it's been sitting on the hair to give it time to process, I guess. So that's what I did. I just put it on there and I let it sit for like I said five to ten minutes. I personally let it sit on there for about seven minutes. Um, because I was in the middle of doing, well, washing out those other wigs as well. I washed this one out second. Um, so I still had another one to wash out. So I washed the other one out and let it sit, um, a little bit after I was done washing it out. And y'all see like how it's taking it, it's making it look kind of gray. You know what I mean? But if y'all know colors, blonde and the platinum go hand in hand you get what i'm saying so i was done washing those wigs out boom all right so now i'm about to show y'all the results look it's white it's white y'all at this point you see absolutely no knots whatsoever and um, I actually have to go back and correct some of them um, because I did over bleach in some areas. But otherwise, it's amazing. It is amazing. Okay, so this is the final result. And I appreciate you guys for watching. And this is actually my wig, Teresa. Okay, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out on my website. Thank you, y'all.